In this video, let's take a look at what FPETS crying is and how we can use it in ultrasonics. So first, F stands for frequency, P stands for penetration, A stands for attenuation, loss of sound, D stands for divergence, the spread of the beam, S stands for sensitivity, C stands for crystal thickness, R stands for resolution, Y, if you invert it, it looks like lambda, which stands for wavelength, and N stands for near field. So what you're going to do is first write on a piece of paper F pads crying and then draw arrows in this manner up, down, up, down, up, down, all the way sequentially to the end or down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. Now let's see how we can use this. Consider frequency going up. So if I increase my frequency, then the penetration goes lower. So I don't get more depth of penetration. I get more attenuation and so on and so forth, crystal thickness down, resolution goes up, and I can find relation between any two parameters. Okay, so let's take an example here. Consider two transducers, one five megahertz and the other one 10 megahertz. Okay, the question is, sound will go deeper, penetrate deeper in which of those two probes? Now let's see, five megahertz is lower frequency as compared to 10 megahertz. So looking at FPETS grind, lower frequency gives me more penetration. So sound will go deeper in lower frequency. So lower of the two is five megahertz. So the answer is five megahertz. Okay, if that makes sense, let's take two more questions. And I'm not gonna give the answer right now. You're gonna leave the answer in the comments below. Okay, so consider two transducers a has thinner crystal, B has thicker crystal. And the question is, which of those produces high frequency sound? Okay, and question two is, which frequency gives you better resolution? Is it the higher frequency or the lower frequency that gives you better resolution? And don't forget to leave your answer in the comments below.